What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? No Zoop for you here, and today we are going to talk about the Battlefield 2042 beta. I've played it a lot. I've had fun with it, but I want to touch on what I think are good things right now and what I feel are the bad things. Pros and cons, as it were. Now, some of you that have been following me for a very, very long time will probably remember that I got my YouTube start in Battlefield. Absolutely love Battlefield 3. Battlefield 4, while I, I didn't love it quite as much as Battlefield 3, it was still enjoyable, and I, I think, for me, that was really the last Battlefield game that I truly enjoyed. Battlefield 1 after that, I, I just couldn't get into, and then Battlefield 5... <laughs> which again, which jumped from one to five, kind of strange how we did that. Uh, I, I just wasn't having it. I, I didn't enjoy it really. It just really didn't feel right. It, it feels like Battlefield kind of lost its way. 2042 is trying to right that ship, and right now at first glance, I'm going to say it's doing a pretty good job. I, I mean, obviously, we're going to need a lot more time with it. We're going to have to see the other maps, the other weapons, everything else. But I will say it definitely has that battle feel to it. it. It does in many ways feel like an extension of Battlefield 3 and 4, which I like. So let's talk about the good real quick and some of the things I really am enjoying about the beta. First and foremost, and this is probably one of the most important parts of any game, the gunplay is solid. I think the gunplay is really, really good. And players coming over from Call of Duty are going to struggle at first because this is very much like Battlefield. You can't just lay into the trigger and expect to hit your target. You've got to burst your rounds. You've got to do that even more so at length, at distance. And, you know, the time to kill feels good. I, I would say everything about the gunplay right now feels tight. And I like it. I like the weapons. I prefer LMGs right now because I, just getting back into it, I feel it gives me a little more uh, leeway. Though, I, I don't think that's at all the best weapon right there. I've played around with all of them, and they all have their pros and cons. So, gunplay is very good. I, I think they've so far nailed that right now, especially considering how many players are in a game. You know, you've got, what, 127? You know, over 120. So the fact that you can still have that tight gunplay, that, that is definitely good on them. The vehicles also feel good. Once again, jumping into tanks feels natural to me. Absolutely love it. Was able to snipe a few helicopters out of the air, which still very, very much love doing. Airplanes and helicopters, I'm, I'm going to have to try and do that later. <laughs> I jumped into one and I just kind of sat there. I, I have forgotten my helicopter controls, and they are very not modern warfare helicopter controls. And, you know, back in the day in Battlefield 3, oh, man, I, I was an absolute beast in uh, the gunships, the Cobra. You know, I could fly low over the land, nap of the earth, and just absolutely slaughter. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that point again. It's going to take a little time and more, probably more than the beta I uh, can afford to offer. But the vehicles drive solid, uh, especially tanks, land vehicles. I, I've got no problem with them as well. The game is beautiful. I mean, there's no denying in that. And this one map that we do have, absolutely gorgeous. I'm running it in 1440, max settings, max everything. You know, I've got a 3080, so I was able to max the graphics, and it, and it looks great. And it still runs great as well. So I, I've got no complaints there, and I know the game's going to be even more optimized when it is released. So there are little hiccups and stutters every now and then, but I kind of attribute that to the fact that it's a beta, so... I think once the full thing comes out, it's going to run even more smooth, and I, I've got no complaints there. It looks and runs beautiful. They've done a great job with the detail on these maps, or at least this map, so good job on that. And now I want to touch on probably what my favorite feature, the best feature I think they've included it is, and that's the in-game weapon editor that you can bring up by pressing T. This is a masterstroke. For me, it's a game changer. I hate having to wait till you die to go into the settings to change your weapon, upgrade your weapon, switch things around. This right here, I, I wish this was I wish this was around 10 years ago or even 20 years ago in first person shooters. I love it. I love being able to say, okay, you know what? I'm I'm getting into a situation where my long range ACOG is not gonna work for my LMG. I need to switch it up with a microflex or some other close quarters site 
and all I have to do is reach into my backpack, grab it out, slap it on there, and I'm ready to go. That, to me, is a master stroke and a game changer, and it offers players so much flexibility. So, well done, DICE, on that. That That is just a great idea. Whoever put that in the game, give them my kudos, because that's, you know, it's, it's brilliant. And then weather effects, and the weather effects are, in my opinion, stunning. I, I mean, it, this map, when the weather hits, kind of re reminds me of Paracel Island way back in uh, Battlefield 4, which, you know, those weather effects were pretty good for back then, but these just, you know, really feels like you're in a storm. I, I like it. Uh, it's beautiful. It doesn't happen quite as much as I would like, nor does that rocket ship launching. Haven't even seen the tornado yet. I, I don't know how that's happened. I mean, <laughs> uh, the the weather effects are very random, and I, I kind of wish sometimes they weren't because I do like when things change, and I, I would love to see it happen more often. But in my opinion, those are the good things right now with uh, the Battlefield 2042 beta and the things that I have enjoyed. Now let's move on to the bad or the cons, and you know, again, these are things that I'm sure some will get changed. Some are going to be non-issues. Uh, these are just things that I want to highlight. And this first one is something that I really, really, really want to see changed before the game comes out. Why are we still capped in four-man squads? To me, that's just ridiculous right now. There is no reason to limit in a hundred-plus player game squads to four men. You need at least six. Six to eight, honestly. You know, what, what What? if you got a lot of players you just love playing with on the weekends? You're going to cap them at four? No, that just doesn't make sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. So I would up the squads to at least six. You know, six minimum. And maybe even eight would be preferable. But that is something that needs to be implemented into the final game. And, you know, it it has to. Because four, four is just too small of a squad size. That's not even a squad. That's half a squad right there. At least if you use six, it's getting closer to a full-size squad. So please, DICE, fix that. That That is the one thing that I want to see fixed right now, or at least changed. Moving on, I still think it's hard to see enemies. Much so uh, harder than it was back in Battlefield 3 and back in Battlefield 4. And, you know, maybe I'm just old now. And the fact that I need glasses, it just makes it harder for me. But, but I do feel with how detailed the terrain is it, it does get tricky seeing the enemy and you know that might be by design as well i mean it, it didn't give me too many issues but you know uh it, it would be nice if it was a little easier you know i, I kind of miss seeing the little uh dorito chips i don't think i saw those at all I, are they still in the game i i can't recall now that's funny okay well moving on anyhow um another thing that i'd like to see notifications it, it just, everything feels so muted. I loved in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 where you got kills. It would flash across the middle of your screen in blue. Your ribbons would pop up. If you tap, that popped up in the center. It was really easy to know what was going on and what you did. And we just don't really have that right now. I think if you cap, you know, control point, it flashes in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. You don't know really how many points you got for it. If you kill someone, it's very muted and towards the bottom. Ribbons don't even show up. And, and you know, I, I think they're trying to keep the gameplay, or at least the players, in the game and make it feel like you're totally immersed. But I don't like that. I, I like seeing that stuff flash up there. I like seeing it large and bold. That's Battlefield. That That is Battlefield right there. And those ribbons are Battlefield. And not including that stuff is kind of... It's a little disappointing because it, it does give you information. It does let you know what's going on. And that type of stuff does feed that dopamine. It makes you happy when you see it pop up there and not having it. It's just like, oh, I killed a guy. Oh, it flashes at the bottom of the screen. whoop de doo Oh, I just captured a flag. Oh, um, where, do I even know I did? Oh, it just told me right in the bottom of the screen. So I, I would love to see the old school way of doing things pop back where you've got... It's flashing up in the center of the screen and that nice green font that fades away and, you know, I I miss it. I really do. It harkens back to Battlefield 3 and I think we need that. Uh, spotting mechanics are iffy. That goes along with still hard to see enemy players. 
I also feel that some helicopters are just a tad too powerful, just a bit too hard to shoot down. I, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, helicopters uh, need to be checked a little bit. <laughs> They're... Some of them are flying with mere impunity. I mean, I've been able to shoot a few down with uh, the surface-to-air missiles, uh, which I've chose to equip lately, just because there's so many helicopters flying around, uh, but uh, not too often. And, you know, sometimes the mechanics on those are weird. A little glitchy, you know, you won't see your lock-on pop up. Uh, you'll have to use the sound cues, and I think that's just a game glitch being a beta. Uh, and there are a fair amount of glitch glitches, you know, uh, tank turrets moving really chunky and everything else. But I, I personally account that to being a beta, and I, I think those are going to get smoothed out. And then the very last thing, uh, the particular map that we have to play on, uh, which I've seen throughout the life cycle of this testing process, I just feel it's kind of bland. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but it's bland. Uh, there, there's nothing remarkable about it. I mean, you, you do have that rocket that occasionally launches, which is cool, but it, it's just devoid of character. And that was my biggest gripe with Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. I feel like we moved away from Battlefield 3 maps with Damavan Peak and uh, the sign and all those maps that you can just remember and you knew inside out and they had key features that you love to fight around you love to capture i mean even even metro uh, wouldn't mind having something like that back or locker room you need a fatal funnel map and again we've only seen one map so this this is probably likely to change and, and i'm really hoping the other maps though that they have put a lot of emphasis into them on making them just fun and not these giant open world uh, maps that feel like they're more battle royale or something like out of Daisy. I, I mean, I, I really would love to see the old school maps back that just had character that you know. I mean, Karkin, uh, you know, just so many maps from back then that I absolutely loved and would not mind playing over and over. Hell, I wouldn't mind if those were the maps that we got in this game just upgraded. I mean, that's how much I love them. So I, I really hope the maps that we do get um, go back to that formula that, you know, just worked. But overall, I, I've enjoyed my time so far in Battlefield 2042. I, I'm cautiously optimistic that they've righted the ship and we've gone back to what we had in Battlefield 3. It feels like so far we're somewhat there. There are some things, obviously, that I mentioned that I'd love to see fixed. Uh, still haven't pre-ordered. Still haven't pre-ordered. Again, um, just been burned so many times I'm going to wait. But I think right now the good definitely outweighs the bad. And I, I'm looking forward to playing some more of this beta. So I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are on Battlefield 2042. I want to know what you thought so far if you've been able to play the early beta. And if you haven't yet, you know, uh, try and get in there if you can. Uh, I think it opens to everyone on Friday or tomorrow. And if, if you're watching this video later, um, obviously it's already been out. But uh, yeah, excited. I, I, I think it has potential. So... Again, I want to know your thoughts. Uh, if you're a long-time viewer but haven't subbed yet, be sure to do that. I hope you all are doing wonderful. I will catch you all later. Zoop out.